How you doing today, my friends? Today, it's a bit windy, still a bit cold. Hopefully you all survived that uh, freeze we all just had across the country, all the way in Texas and everything. Here, it was extremely cold too. Negative like 50 degrees, 50 mile an hour winds, crazy stuff here in Wyoming. But we survived it, thankfully. It's not too shabby today. It is still super windy here. It's just the time of the year. Wind is always here blowing in storms in and out. But we got our snow skate today. Our sweet little team edition ambition snow skate. And we're gonna teach you five simple tricks for a snow skate that you can do on any snow skate. Doesn't matter what kind of snow skate you have. Five simple tricks that are just easy for basically anybody to be able to do. So let's go on over here. We're just gonna do them nice and easy into the slant here and just show you. Snow skating is fun super fun and a good time and you can learn some tricks that are just super easy to just have fun out riding the first trick we're gonna do I don't even know what it's actually called it's called like a bean plant or something or a boneless in skateboarding but since there's no trucks or wheels or anything on this you have to grab the nose of the board for this trick while riding so we're gonna go ahead and do a couple show you what they look like and just show you how simple they are right, first thing you do is you're gonna get on your snow skate here and you're gonna find your obstacle whether it's flat ground whether it's into a slant whether it's down something and you're gonna get on your board you're gonna roll I should say roll you're gonna slide like so and as you're sliding along you're gonna take your front foot off grab the nose of the board pull it up like a boneless in skateboarding so then you jump land on your board and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do a couple into this slant here and just show you how they look. Well today the snow is all crunchy and kind of crappy from the wind and it getting hot and cold right now. But that trick right there is the easiest trick you're gonna do on a snow skate. The next trick we're gonna move on to is just slightly, like slightly harder. It's called the shove it. And that's when you make the board do a nice little 180 while you're going and you land on it and keep going. This trick you can practice standing still in the grass in your bedroom. You can practice this trick anywhere on a skateboard or a snow skate. So let's just get into it, show you how simple it is. Now with a shove it, you're gonna stand on your board. You're gonna want your feet separated wherever feels comfortable for you here. So then once you have your front foot where it feels comfortable, you bring your back foot just in this little pocket back here. You feel comfortable with your feet, you just scoop it. Sometimes the farther back your foot comes like this, the easier the spin is. But you might not be able to ride away as good if you're doing that. Because you're gonna wanna land here, or like in here somewhere. You don't wanna land heavy either side or you're gonna get stuck. So just wherever feels comfortable, get your foot to where it's gonna grab that guy. Boom, you got your shove it right there. All right, third trick. This one might actually be the easiest. We call this one a body burial. So when you get on the board, you take your normal stance, which would be something like this for me. Now, as you're sliding along, gliding, you just jump up 180 and then keep gliding. Might be the simplest trick, depending on how great a balance you have. That trick will come super duper easy. So let's go ahead, do a couple right here and see how they go in this snow. All right, so there's three super simple tricks you can do. Now the next one, it can be kind of tough. It is one of the easiest tricks you can do, but at the same time, it's just kind of different the way your body moves. It's called the front side shove it. So what that means is the board, when you're standing on it this way, 
the board is going to pop up and spin behind you instead of spinning out in front of you. Now front side can be harder for some people. It can be easier for some people. For me personally, I think they're about the same, but that's just because I've been doing skateboarding for so many years that they just kind of blend together now. So let's go ahead and do a couple, see how well they work out today and just show you. Easy. Fourth easy trick in a row. Let's go ahead and get it. If we can get the snow skate in our hands. Just gonna try a couple on flat ground here because right over there, it's just not good with the snow. It's too deep, the board sinks and you can't get any good pop or anything like that off of a sinking board. I think that would be the hardest part of snow skating is getting the spot set up so that your board can actually ride well and you can do tricks. That's the hardest part because snow skating is just whatever the terrain is like there. So you kind of got to make it the way you want it yourself. Now, as you just saw there, it's what I'm talking about with the snow here. If I'm in a track like this, and I want to scoop a front shove, it's gotta come through and cut all that snow out before the board can even do the trick. So the spot is the key essential thing when snow skating. Unfortunately, this area is just not great, <laughs> but I mean, we're out having fun skating and stuff. The front shove, is a little bit up on the difficulty scale as compared to the regular shove it in my opinion but like i said some people are better at front side some people are better at back side it just depends on you as a person skating and stuff the final trick i'm going to do is the easiest one i'm going to go with a three shove i think a three shove is quite a bit easier than a kickflip especially if you're riding one of these team edition snow skates it's flat as a board it has no concave which doesn't give you that little extra flick spot that you need like a skateboard has where it's dished down this one's just flat so when you do do a kickflip it is more difficult but shove it shove it's are the easiest tricks by far we're gonna go with the three shove here and it's a simple easy 360 rotation in front of your body on the snow skate so when you're on the skate, you're here. Let's get, try to get us in the snow a little bit so we can spin the board. All right, hit that cleaned off. So for a three, shove it. Uh-oh, that's coming off, that's not good. That is not good. But for a three shove, I like to bring my foot back a little bit more like you would do a 360 kickflip skateboarding, but I just peep my feet like this and it's not going to flip over because it's a snow skate. So then you just, and there you, and then you have the three shove. If you want to practice some stationary, you can just take it into some grass like this where you're not going to catch the snow and you can just go ahead and practice them like so. They're super easy, especially if you have a little bit of leg strength, you can just whip your board around nice and easy and i'm gonna try to include me doing these tricks all off of something as well so we'll see if we have any of that doing it on an obstacle since today we're just having some fun out in the sun and freaking it's windy snow skating is tough man i find snow skating a hundred times harder than i do skateboarding so that's just for me everybody has their talents at stuff maybe snowboarding and snow skating is yours i would do way better at skateboarding every day all day we're gonna go ahead and try and do a few three shoves here see if we can get them going just here in this flat ground area because the rest of the snow is just so crunchy and you can't really get even riding it's it kind of sucks to be honest <laughs> i wish it was like perfect smooth snow today for this video but you get what you get and you just make it work and have fun all right my friends there you have it five simple snow skate tricks not the most awesome right aways there but it is what it is right now go out try these tricks yourself see if you can land any maybe make your own video tell us your five easiest skate tricks there 
and just have fun skating, especially if you can skate during when it's winter right now. That's all I wanna do. I wanna be able to skateboard. Snow skating is fun, but I just am nowhere near as good as I am skateboarding on a snow skate. It could be that the snow skate's four years old and a team edition, not a pro style, but I just can skateboard a thousand times better than I could ever snow skate in my life. Hopefully you guys are having fun out there, living your best lives, things are going well for you, and you can get out and snow skate and have fun and hang out with your buddies like this D guy here. We're gonna go ahead and get on out of here now, and I'll see you guys for another video next time. Be sure to click that thumbs up for me, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, maybe leave a comment below, let me know what you're practicing out there, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Have a great day, my friends. Peace. Recently too, I decided to start a cash app. I went through all those problems with like GoFundMe, PayPal. Apparently, if you send money cash app to cash app or to somebody's cash app, they cannot scam you. So I'm working on doing other things, working on starting that OnlyFans. Just, I'm not sure what I would charge a month. Leave a comment, let me know what you would pay a month if you would, or cash at me at cash sign Cody Killa and we can talk from there too on Instagram or YouTube here. YouTube doesn't have a messenger anymore, but hit me up if you guys feel like donating to my channel. I appreciate a ton. If you're looking to buy anything from me, just let me know. We can always work a deal out usually and we'll see what happens there. But yeah, I got a cash app. So that's just a thing. I mean, I get people who want to donate all the time or they want to buy something just Hit me up, Instagram Cody Killer, Cash App Cody Killer.